In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages word 92 and 93, which is all about inserting citations. The word reference feature allows you to keep track of the reference sources you consult when writing research papers, reports, and other documents. And it makes it easy to insert a citation into a document. Now, a citation is a reference in the document that gives credit to the source of a quotation or other information used in a document. Citations usually include the name of the author and for print sources, a page number. When you insert a citation, you can use an existing source or you can create a new source. Each time you create a new source, the source information is saved on your computer so that it's available for you to use in any document. And this is a very wonderful tool to use, uh, especially uh, if you reach the college level or even at high school if you have to write a research paper uh, and you have to cite your sources because that's a way of avoiding plagiarism uh, out there, which uh, typically in most cases will result in automatic failures. So it's always best to cite your sources. So if we take a look on step one on page board 92, it tells us that we want to scroll down our document and place the insertion point after people travel, but before the period at the end of the first paragraph um, in the first column of text. So right here it's kind of split across where it says people will travel. We want to place our insertion point right here. Once we have that, we want to um, go up and click the style list arrow in the citations and bibliography group. So make sure that you're on the references tab. You need to make sure that that is the current tab and you want to go here to the citations and bibliography and we want to choose the style list arrow. Now of course here are the different styles that are available and of course different um, subject areas has different styles they would like you to um, do your citations in. Uh, some of the most common are MLA and APA uh, but there are different ones that are out there but these are some of the most commonly used ones that are there um, that we will use. Now we want to make sure that the MLA 7th edition is the one that is chosen. And of course you will format the sources and citations in this report using the style recommended by the Modern Language Association or MLA. Uh, and like I said, you know, science will use certain types of uh, citation styles and at times it is difficult for the average student uh, to keep up with these different styles but however word will automatically do this for us so this is a very important uh, video to uh, pay attention to in step two it tells us that we want to click the insert citation button and of course when we click on this uh, notice that here are some already designed uh, citations for us and these is uh, these are a list of the sources already used in the uh, in the document opens and so you know we can use it, uh, these right here and of course these are some uh, examples that you will probably already have on your computer now you can choose to cite one of these sources you can create a new source or you can add a placeholder for a source now when you add a new citation to a document the source is added to the list of master sources that is stored on your computer the new source is also associated with the document. Now step three tells us that we want to click on add a new source. So uh, we don't want to use one of the, our existing ones. We want to add a new one here. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to select the type of source. We do this by clicking on the type of source list arrow. And of course we can scroll down and we see the different options that are there. Because if you're like me, it's difficult to know you know uh, all of these different sources and how to cite them inside of a document. Uh, like I said, Word makes it so much easier. Uh, what we want to do is we want to choose report. Uh, so we scroll down till we see report and we click on it and of course this has the fields that we need to find or as many fields as we can uh, find for the source. So once we do this um, we want to click on the corporate author checkbox. Uh, on here as well. So we want to click on this. So instead of just having just an author, we're going to use a corporate author here. And of course, you select the type of source and you enter the source information in the Create Source dialog box. The fields available in the dialog box change depending on the type of source that you are wanting. Now, when you create a new source for a document, it does appear automatically in the bibliography when you generate it. Because usually most of the time they want you to cite your sources and then create a bibliography at the end of all your sources cited. 
uh, and Word does all this automatically for you. So once we have this, we want to input in the information, this is step four, uh, that we see on figure D16. And of course, I'll be inputting in this information as well. Now, only sources that you associate with the document stay with the document when you move it to another computer. The master list of sources remains on the computer in which you created it. So in here, instead of having just a general author, we are using the corporate author, and that's going to be World Tourism Organization. The title of our document is going to be Tourism Highlights. The year published is going to be 2015. The publisher is going to be World Tour or uh, Tourism Organization. The city is going to be Madrid. The report type is a white paper. And the medium is going to be print. And of course, um, your tag name may be uh, were, uh, W O R 15, or it could be 151. Uh, those are generally going to differ, uh, you know, depending on your computer. Uh, now, like I said, now generally when you are citing sources, you may not have all this information, but put in as much as you possibly can find out about your source, because uh, if you only put in so much information it's not going to provide a good bibliography. You want to try to fill in as many of these uh, fields as you possibly can when you're actually using this. So once we input in this information we're going to click on OK and of course now you'll notice that a field's going to appear here uh, on there and that's our citation and that's it's going to be in parentheses World Tourism uh, Organization and it's going to appear at the end of the paragraph because the source is a print publication it needs to include a page number as well so on step five we're going to click on this citation here to select it then we're going to click the citation options list arrow uh, on the right side of the citation so that's right here and we're going to click on edit citation and of course now we have on here it tells us that we can add the pages and we can suppress certain things as well but on the pages, we're going to type in that we found this information on page 19. We want to click on OK. And of course now we notice that our citation has now been completed. It has the name of the publication as well as the page number on it as well. Now you can also choose to add or remove the author, year, or title from the citation if it appears automatically. In step 7, it tells us we want to scroll down and place the insertion point at the end of the quotation which is after the word consequences uh, on here as well so here is our citation that we have here it's in italics and we're going to place it after the word consequences and we're going to click on the insert citations button and we're going to add another new source and in this case we're going to insert the information that's on figure D18 uh, on here in which that the type of source is going to be a document from a website so we're going to have to scroll down a little bit until we see document from website and you'll notice that the fields are going to be changed we're going to be using the same corporate author here of the world health or uh, we're going to be choosing the world health organization on here of course you want to put in the name of the web page which is going to be International Travel and Health 2016 edition. And of course the name of the web website is going to be the World Health Organization website. And most of that information, if you are using this from a website uh, or a document on the website, you can find this up at the top of the, uh, on the title bar uh, on your web browser. And you do want to state when you found this, and this is going to be 2016, the month is going to be January, the date is going to be the 10th, the year access is going to be 2016, month access is March, the day access is the 11th, and the medium is going to be the web. Now, once again, uh, now you may say, why do I have to put down the month, day, and year, and why these are different? 
Uh, if the website does have a published date to it, you want to use that information up here. Otherwise, you want to put the date. Uh, of course, if it doesn't have it, you leave that blank. But you do want to put when you accessed it because you have to remember that web pages can change every single day or can change multiple times a day. And you want to put what date you accessed it on because then if you can find a uh, uh, indexed web page where it shows that information, at least they know when you accessed it and that it may or may not have changed. So once we have this information, we're going to click on OK. And of course now it's going to put in the citation uh, on here of the World Health Organization. And the citation for that web publication uh, is there and it's added to the report. Now since this is a web page, no, web pa uh, no page number is going to be used in the citation because it's a website. So now we're going to, on step 8, scroll to the bottom of page 2. So we go down a little bit, here's the bottom of page 2. And underneath the table, uh, we're just going to place our insertion point here and we're going to type in the word source colon then we're going to highlight this and italicize it so you can either use the um, mini toolbar to italicize it and then of course after source we're going to click here and then we're going to click on the insert citation button but this time we're going to choose the Margaret uh, Johnson uh, reference on there so we're going to click on this and of course you'll notice that automatically the source has been input in for us uh, that's a really great tool because if you wanted to you can go through there and you can manage your sources uh, you can input in sources and everything and that way so when you're going through your document all you have to do is click on insert citation and choose your source and of course we see the citation of Johnson has now appeared underneath the table. Then next we're going to click the citation here and click on the citation options list arrow and we're going to add the citation and we're going to put in the page number here of 55. We're going to click on OK and of course notice that that has uh, changed that citation there and go ahead and save your document. Once again, this is the easiest way that you can possibly input in your citations. And I can't stress enough that, especially uh, in this day and age of vast amounts of information, um, and especially with this tool uh, available as it is, uh, there shouldn't be any excuse for plagiarism. Uh, you should be able to quickly input in a citation in the style uh, that is required of you uh, on there and like I said the general two are either APA or MLA so uh, uh, if you go with one of those two generally you can't go wrong on it unless you know your instructor told you otherwise uh, but uh, you want to make sure that you do cite your sources because uh, a lot of times on these uh, documents and reports and everything uh, your teachers or professors or instructors are wanting to know what you know and they realize you have to get some information uh, but if you don't cite it, it's as if you've got the information yourself. And sometimes it's kind of hard for a student to do research and statistics and everything else. So make sure you do cite your sources. And that concludes the information that's on pages Word 92 and 93. Uh, you're ready to move on to the next um, video which, in which we're going to manage our sources and create a bibliography.